go ahead and eat in here because I'm starving. Hanging out here, enjoying the general splendor. Boom! <laughs> there. A pillow? You can create a pillow with the sand right here. Like this here, let's make one. Oh, the Missouri Arch. I think the the arch represents like you know boom in industry or like expansion. That's what it is. So anyway, can't wait to get there and view everything. Kenoma, sí, para ver todo lo que hay aquí en esta. We're just a short little trail, walk, exercise stint before we keep driving. And our goal is to get to Colorado, um, where I don't really know. There's just prairies to see in Kansas. So we're just going to zoom, zoom through that because there's just so huge Kansas to go through to get to Colorado. And Ay, qué bonito. Mira una foto aquí. Well, we're going to take pictures. Bye. It's very different. This is an old... They're all wood. They have the mesas. Yeah. Oh, but we are too early to eat here. We have to go to Kansas City. What's in Kansas City? Do not ask me. I don't know. What? Anyway, it's time to just... So, it's kind of just walking. In Missouri, we were walking to the arch. The old spaghetti factory. I don't know what that means. I mean, maybe that's the same as the Arizona one. They always have it really nice spaghetti factories. There's the water over there. We walked down there this morning. Ama, vámonos. Aquí? Okay. Uno, dos, tres. Mira. Uno, dos, tres.
interesting. That's what it is. You see that? So they have different um, topics that you can look at. I was particularly interested in, I don't know, I like stories. Like, you know, it's fascinating how people lived back then and what they did. Um, one I would like right there see oh. I don't actually know a lot about World War One I. I think everyone's fascinated with World War, World War Two and um, it's just I hate to rush through this stuff. It's like there's so much to see all the time in every single state we go to. You don't think there's anything, but there's always so much more than you imagine. <laughs> so, uh, but it's amazing. I love it that you can never learn too much or see too much like of the beauty that God's created or the monuments that mankind has done, like the achievements and just the science, the industry the inventions just the, or the character of the people behind a lot of this stuff um, and I like you decide what history you like to focus on sometimes there's like not very um, good history or like there's bad people but you know you focus on the good and you focus on um, incredible like people that you admire and look up to and that's that's what history is all about it's about a story of real people with real lives you know, just like the Bible too. Gee, there's so much probably up there. Let's go to the balcony and take a quick picture. Okay. And here we have the Union Station, which we just toured and found out all about um, here in Kansas, or Kansas City. And we found out all about the memorial, like, or about railroad, post office, you know things like that, um, mainly how the railway was, wow, look at this, mainly how, you know, people pushed for the railroads to be built, just a small group of people, like businessmen, and they were really thinking about the future of their state and their commerce, and it's just the, the economic um, security. But this is incredible as well. I like this World War I memorial. It's just very stately. The glory of America goes deeper than all the tinsel goes deeper than the sound of guns and the clash of sabers. It goes down to the very foundation of those things that have made the spirit of man free, happy, and content. Uh, you know, each nation has its history. And, you know, we ought to pride in that because I think a lot of it is like the best of, you know, the best of what we hope to be and expect. Um, you know, the ideals that uh, each nation has and falls short of. Um, but it's just a reminder, I think. So, we're just gonna take a photo up here. And. might not be many people, but there are Aww, animals. Yeah. Mira que lindo. Yeah, on the road again. Man, what is out Just here? Can't wait to get on the road again. Ghost town. Right, exactly. My my love is making music with my friends. And I can't okay. wait All right. All the traffic that there is here. So we stopped because we saw human beings here. Race track. We saw two cars racing. There he goes. Okay. So this is a historical restaurant here. They have a lot of steaks so on. I think they have veggie burgers. So this is Colorado's culture. They're very much into um, buffalo and uh, deer and livestock. <laughs> Cattle. See, I'm um, very much like um, cattle ranchers. Um, so yeah. 
I feel bad for the animals. Are you looking for lunch? Yes. Do you guys have veggie burgers? We don't. Oh, are you kidding me? I know. Do you want to look at the menu? Yeah. Okay. Maybe you have like appetizers or something that I can like Actually, a group of things see. I could. So here we are, staying in the middle of some Colorado mountains, silver and spruce. Um, yeah, and it even has breakfast, Wi-Fi. And I didn't realize it's really low, low rates. I just like parked here. There's Hampton Inn. It's probably super expensive. So many places here are so ultra expensive. So look at some ski lifts there. Look at that. So in the winter, as well as the summer, this is a happening place. It's a Memorial Day weekend, is it? No, Labor Day. So you'll see it's quite charming. Everything's like decorated, really festive. So yeah, we're gonna leave them. Mm -hmm. so, so there's a bunch of tourist things to do. We're hoping to get to Hanging Lake. Hope so. And we're gonna go ahead and go. Hey. We barely made it. We barely. Yeah. We were gonna walk, but we decided yeah. to drive. So we drive with Rose. Yes, otherwise we wouldn't have made it. <laughs> so, yeah, you have to go to the shuttle service with the hanging lakes now because I guess too many people were going and they were overcrowding it and trashing it. So now they have a shuttle service for right now. You can see remnants of the Coal Seat Fire of June 2002. A wildfire was sparked by a burning underground coal seat and then pushed by hot winds, blew up into epic size and swept through West Glenwood. Just starting on the trailhead. Let's look way up there. So yeah, can't believe it. So yeah, we have our permit, and um, hopefully we'll get back in time for the, to check out of the hotel. Um, yeah, but it's stunning. So uh, more soon. It's quite chilly actually here, even in summer, in August. Hama. Yes. <laughs> the spirit wants to do so much what the strength cannot, but we'll do it anyway. Helen said, take it easy on your mom. And I'm like, no. She needs to take it easy on me. She could easily pass me up right now. Come on. You know, I'm a way up. <laughs> yes.
back to the <clears throat> um, trailhead or the area where the shuttle is supposed to pick us up after a very strenuous hike that we love. That's where we hiked up to. We're just marveling. Way up there somewhere. Do not feed the squirrels. <laughs> Look at how fat he is. Come on, you so That back in Colorado, and then we ended up in a one way <laughs> round of not roundabout. It's like so. Oh, look at that house! Where this one was Field of Dreams. Oh, he helped you. Oh, it would be a dream to live near Zion huh? or even Colorado in the mountains there. And then they had like little ranches with like horses and cattle on the side. Look at him. Oh, isn't he funny? Look at him. And from the ground there blossoms rose Life that shall end Life that shall end Endless peace With plenty of water as you can see, so yeah, <laughs> and this is so there's the fall. We were just behind it, and I don't feel like going back to show you because we've been hiking a lot and we're really sore from yesterday's morning's hike in Colorado. And now it's like we're doing so much in Zion in one day that we can, but... Um
Sure. The wildfire. We appreciate our trees, the little that we do have. So it just shows like yeah. <laughs> different, oh, different things. But yeah, did you see the burn area driving in from Jacob Lake? Yes, we did. Oh my goodness. This is the Roaring Springs view I'm going to and this Roaring Springs is apparently, you know, because the north rim is higher than the south rim and so the snow melts and it seeps downward and so a lot of it gets soaked into the ground and some of it seeps through the layers of the mineral of the rocks and it takes longer but all the water um, that you get up here at the campground and at the other site at the lodge um, is all water from the roaring roaring lake roaring come on roaring springs so forgive me I'm like waddling because yeah we've been hiking a lot must have been Oh, Yama. giving me tips. I was like, wow, I really need to go backpacking over there. I'm not backpacking. So I'm getting really into hiking. Like I was already, but wow, it's so exciting.
other side. You can fall and die. All right, not very comfy at all. But, well, like the little black fish in that Iranian story, and you gotta live.